Welcome to this month's JGA Video of the Month. We have a collection of uh, great videos and ideas, uh, some really great teachers. If you haven't checked out the uh, Jazz Guitar Addiction group on Facebook, uh, check it out. Uh, just a great supportive group of uh, musicians and uh, a lot of good ideas, great videos being uh, shared. Um, just a wealth of information. So with that, I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, thanks again to all the uh, contributors. My name is Josh Maxey, and I'm the curator. Thank you. Hi guys. Um, this uh, small lesson on the mini scale is uh, going to be about triads, because that's the one thing that I use the most whenever I'm using a mini scale, especially when I'm playing it on dominance. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm using the four major triads that is associated with every uh, mini scale. Let's try and look at the line that uh, I wrote for this. So that's just a 2 5 1 in uh, the key of F, and what I'm playing on the dominant is essentially just an A major triad and an, and an F sharp major triad, uh, and then resolving that to the 7th of the F major. Um, one way to sort of work on on connecting all these triads and also just to have them uh, ready when you're playing a dominant is take the four triads and try to combine them at random um, so that would be something like this sounds nice, it's also really good for um, coming up with new ideas and finding maybe sort of surprising turns in your lines. Hi, my name is Asamet from asametlessons.com and today I'm going to share an idea on uh, a diminish scale and I'm going to use this fingering. So this is an E half hole, so it's E flat, B flat, C, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G, A, B flat, C. No. And uh, I learned this from watching and um, studying with Tim Miller. Um, to take apart the scale into a subset, for example, making it into a two note per string pattern. And this allows you to play lines that. I like is actually one, two, one, two. Also creating interesting lines. Especially when you combine those two. So this is a great way to get new ideas without actually using the entire scale at once. Thinking in subsets of two notes per string or one note and two notes. Just hope this helps you find new ideas. Uh, all the best. Hey everyone at Jazz Guitar Addiction. I'm Harvey Valdez and I'm excited to show you a cool voicing coming from the G half hole diminished scale. It's a pretty sinister sound and you guys might recognize this shape already. This is commonly used as a D minor 9 major 7 chord. Notes are D, F, C sharp and E. Closer look though, these notes also reside in the G half hole diminished scale. So that got me thinking about using this chord as coming from that scale and having it function as a dominant chord. Remember, you have four dominant chords living in the G half hole scale G7, B flat 7, D flat 7, and E7. So I'm going to take you through this voicing and show you how it can function as any one of those four dominant chords. So this as G7, well that would have a sharp 11 and a 13 in there, and I'm going to resolve it to its respective one chord to C major. How about as B flat 7? Well that will have the sharp 9 and sharp 11, and I can resolve to E flat major 7. How about as D flat 7? Well that would have flat 9 and sharp 9, and I can resolve to G flat major 7. And then the last one would be is E7, and that would have the 13 flat 9 in there, and I can resolve to A major 7. Alright, so once you get past all the number talk at first, it's a really fun way to take a voicing like this and get a lot of mileage out of it and see how all these alterations and extensions sound and how they can uh, resolve into their respective one chord. 
What's up, fellow guitarists? Larry Tim Nini here for Jazz Guitar Addiction Short Lesson Clips. Uh, always great to be a part of this great crew of players and educators. Uh, one of the subjects this month is, you know, diminished chords, diminished harmony. My clip is basically going to be a lick, and it's using a C half whole diminished scale, C half step to D flat, whole step to E flat, half step to E, whole step to F sharp, G, A, B flat, C. Uh, going to make them all diminished chords. That's actually a lick from a West Montgomery song called Missile Blues. Uh, sped up, it sort of sounds like this, and it resolves to a G7. It's a pretty cool lick. Uh, and it's a really hip way to approach five going to one. Um, so may you have non-diminishing returns and hope this helped you out later. Hi everybody, welcome to this month's Jazz Guitar Addiction video. The topic is diminished scales or chords. I'm going to talk about the octatonic scale, which is a derivation of the diminished scale. It's comprised of half and whole steps, uh, and it sounds like this. If we're in the key of C major, the seventh degree of C major being B diminished, let's start on the B. I'll insert a picture file of that scale so you can see exactly what's going on. Here's a uh, 2 5 1 in the key of C major. You can see how it wants to resolve to the C major because B diminished is the seventh degree in the diatonic chord structure. So it lends itself very easily to jazz. Uh, and you can use uh, derivations of that all over the place. Uh, you, you can use the same octatonic scale but but tweak it a little bit. So that's pretty much it. Uh, hope to see you next month. Take care. Hey guys, Jake Reichbart here with a very quick diminished voicing idea. I'm sure you're all aware that on a seventh chord I'll demonstrate in, in A, A7, if you play pretty much any random note in the diminished scale, any com random combination, you'll get a valid voicing for a seventh chord with a diminished flavor. Um, and so I'm sure many of you, if not all of you, know that you can create, uh, take any kind of voicing, random voicing with these notes in them and move them in minor thirds. you're getting some kind of an A7th. But the idea that I wanted to mention today is to take that one step further and not forget to play the in-between voicings, which is to say each note that in the voicing that you're playing, move it up to the next scale position. So you'll get... Sorry. And that's the idea of the day. Thank you. Okay, our quick one-minute lessons on diminished this week. Using it in a dominant seventh setting. So I'm going to use it for A7. The way you can get into it is if you think about a nice A7 drop two chord right here. And if you just substitute flat nine for one, you now have B flat diminished. So anything B flat diminished can be used for A7. In other words, a half step above a dominant chord. 
And what's nice is it gives you a really nice sound, which is the natural 13 flat 9 sound. So it's not a fully altered sound. It's kind of an in-between really beautiful sound with natural 13 and flat or sharp 9. Okay, so what's nice on the diminish is it works on the guitar easily on this pattern right here with a 1, 3, 4, alternating to 1, 2, 4. 1, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4. modal sequencing type patterns. B flat diminished being used for A7 flat 9 natural 13. Hey, this is Josh Maxey. My uh, idea for this month is just a line uh, using the half hole diminished scale over a 13 flat 9 chord. And in this case, B13 flat 9. The components of this are as follows this shape. Okay, the secret ingredient to diminish chords. There is no secret ingredient. Okay, when I see a diminished chord, I see a dominant seventh chord. Where it's his C diminished, it's the same as a B7 flat nine. And so this B7 flat nine, if we think in terms of tritones, we have B7, D7, we have F7, and A flat seven. And combined with all of those, we have uh, B7, we have F sharp minus seven, or F sharp minus seven flat five. Okay, we have D7. Okay, we have E flat minus seven, minus seven flat five. Okay, so it just goes up in tritones. So whenever I see diminished, that's what I see. I see tritones, I see dominant seven chords, and it doesn't limit me. I, in fact, I don't even think about this stuff anymore. So, uh... Then, so I'm not stuck on anything. So, if I see, uh... Like an E minus 7 to A7, alright? So it could be A minus 7, B flat diminished, A7 sharp 5, E minus 7, E flat 9, so, uh, there's all kinds of approaches. Okay, that's it. Hello there, uh, jazz guitar players. This is Jeff Matz, jeffmatzguitar.com. I'm going to show you my favorite gypsy jazz lick here using the diminished scale. Um, real simple lick. It's a great way to kind of instantly inject that sound. I am not a real gypsy jazz player, but I can play one on TV with a lick like this. So in the tune like minor swing, in the key of A minor, we get to that five chord, that dominant seven, suggesting that harmonic minor uh, kind of type of sound. I'm going to do a diminished arpeggio coming down, starting on the D. Uh, the seventh of that E chord. I'm just going to go right across the string. 
and then ending on the E, which will be the fifth of the A, coming back to the A minor chord. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to play the I'm not going to play the arpeggio straight. I'm going to get the chromatic notes in between as well, um, and it gets a really cool sound. I'll do it slow. I can throw a little flourish at the end like that's a nice sound so check it out at like tempo pull that one out in your next bebop gig Using this concept, to substitute chords on the song Stormy Weather in the key of G, Thank you. 